I'm not ready for it. Oh no. Carlo, what have you shown me? Oh my god. Alright, so I've been to SM Malls in Cebu, and this is my first time at SM Mega Mall in Manila. So I'm really excited. This mall is huge. We're just in like the department store portion of this mall. But uh, I've never been here before, and I have Carlo with me right now. He's gonna be my like guide, so he's gonna take me to, I guess, some of the better stores. And we're gonna be here for a little bit, just chilling, and we'll bring you guys along for the ride. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. Looks like I found the sneaker section. We have a bunch of leanings, umbros. We have some arcs from Copenhagen. Okay. Check these out. We got some cool vans with the checkered boards and a flame print on the side. That's different, that's different. Some more checkered print stuff all over the place. So apparently this brand right here, Sprint, is notorious for making these counterfeit sneakers in the Philippines. I've never heard of this brand before, but let's give you guys the lowdown right now. We've got the Puma Clydes right here, and the, uh, the stripes are like reverse like what the heck it's like a weird mirrored effect they have these in a billion different colorways they even have these shoes right here I'm, I'm not this sort of looks like a like a fly knit racer the way they have the mesh right here but the midsole is a little bit weird but yeah I think these are like a fly knit racer over here we have some like Nike Air Max looking sneakers we have a navy blue colorway we even have a black colorway as well and uh not not very bouncy but you know they have a Air Max technology in them oh my gosh check these out Air Max 270s. These are going for a thousand pesos. I'll have the conversions up on screen, but they have these in the olive green colorway. We got the blue colorway over here. These look like some Reebok sneakers over here. We got the, what looks like a Futurecraft 4D. Futurecraft 4Ds at SML Manila. What? This is, how much are these going for? I don't even know. But these look like worse than Payless. I think I'd rather wear Payless. Over here, we got some Puma Sugi net fits going for a thousand pesos as well. All navy blue colorway. They got the blacks. They got, what is this, a Yeezy Wave Runner? Looks like it. <laughs> Yeezy yeah, Wave Runner right here. Yeah, it's not, that, it's not half bad. It's honestly not half bad. So I got some Wave Runner Yeezys. We even got the Adidas Pro Fear right here. Whoa, I almost like hit myself in the face. Adidas Pro Fear, 900 pesos. Some savings there compared to the thousands for all the other shoes. Over here, they got some more Adidas Pro Fears, this time in the navy blue. And they even have like a weird Balenciaga sock runner looking shoe. However, it's not a sock upper, but they have the bottom for the, uh, the sole. And these are going for 899 pesos. This section of the store, we got some Air Force One look-alike sneakers. Yeah, the, all the way down to the little like silver tag right here that's on the laces. It's missing the Air Force One branding on the side right there. We got, of course, the Converse. 500 pesos for the Converse sneakers that they sell here. And then they have a bunch of other ones. These look like the Keds kind of sneakers. And uh, we got some van slip-ons. We got the boat shoes as well. Man, they, they have it all here. So this is our very first store inside of SM Mall, and we've already exposed and just found so many fake sneakers. It's, it's really cool. What do you guys think is worse? Wearing those shoes or wearing actual fakes with the name brand and on it and all that kind of stuff, like the Nike swooshes and, and the Adidas stripes? What's worse? Wearing fakes like that are actually trying to look real or wearing those? These are uh, different. I haven't seen these before. They have the skull print all over on these vans, old schools. And they do in fact sell Converse here as well, so that's pretty interesting. I'm not ready for it. Oh no! Carlo, what have you shown me? Oh my gosh. He's in red, man. The Yeezy. <laughs> oh my, they're so light. They feel like a slipper. Like, they, these are so, so light. How much are these? We got the Beluga of Sesames. We got the Yeezy Boost Sesames. 799. So 800 pesos for the Yeezys. Oh, check this out. They got boost on these too. It's like almost three stripes. It's two stripes right here on the side. We got the, oh, it's so stiff. It's, you can break your, you can break someone's head with that boost. That's how hard that is. Oh my. And in this corner of the department store, we have the Pharrell Tennis Shoes. This is pretty wild. You guys can see it has that same sole as the Pharrell Tennis Shoes, but it's just, you know, one tenth the price and without any branding. 
So to all my people who say that, uh, you know, branding and all that stuff is just for looks and not actual performance or, or quality, come here and wear these shoes only. And this particular shoe's name is even the Adonis. So pretty close to Adidas, you could say. We are done here at the SM Mall department store. Next up, we're actually going to be going to a DC cafe. It's a DC world inspired cafe. I'm not too big into the DC heroes, but you know, I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. Guys, they have such a cool menu here. It's like an actual newspaper, and then almost like a comic strip kind of thing going on here. Okay, maybe not so much a comic strip, but it's still cool. Still, still pretty dope. And I just ate dinner, but I think I already just regained my appetite by looking at the food. I've never seen a pop figure on a menu before. That's different. So right now we're eating this delicious like chocolatey soup dessert and it looks like like pills and broccoli and soup and, and like a chocolate I, it's so weird it's so weird to look at but it tastes amazing and uh it was on the house too so shout out to the uh the people over here at dc superheroes cafe oh my gosh look how snowy it is in canada this is like a winter wonderland please take me back to the philippines so as you guys can tell i am back here in toronto canada for this half of the video so that was all of the footage i was able to get at sm mega mall in manila Philippines. We ended up going back to Carlos' place because he had some business to attend to after we ate dinner. But that DC like restaurant was really cool. So if you're a fan of anything in the DC universe, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. With that said, I have not done a Q&A in the longest time on this channel. So I asked you guys over on Instagram and Twitter to send me your Philippines and travel related questions. And I want to get you guys some information that might come in handy for you guys. If you don't know, we are doing a top 10 series on the channel right now over the next two weeks or so I'm dropping a bunch of top 10 videos and if you guys want a free pair of Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2s all you have to do to enter the giveaway for these is subscribe to the channel like the videos and drop a comment including your Instagram name on my top 10 videos so I'll actually be dropping the top 10 worst sneakers of 2019 for spring so check it out and we're also giving away some Comme des Garçons sneakers from yesterday's Philippine travel vlog so check out yesterday's vlog if you haven't seen it yet when that video hits 2,000 thumbs up we will be doing that giveaway with that said we're also gonna do a small giveaway in this video but we'll get to it after the Q&A so let's get to your question from at Shokan 38 it is do you use your own money to travel or do you have sponsors there are certain cases where I travel with a sponsor and that is disclosed pretty much in the in the content itself in the past I've gone to Japan with Kenshi Toronto four times. Now each one of those trips uh, they were essentially sponsored. The first three I paid for half of the travel and half of my room and board for the first three and then the most recent trip they paid for everything. When they go to the Philippines I pay for everything. When they go to Texas I pay for everything. When they go anywhere else I pretty much pay for everything unless I say that the brand flew me out somewhere. So for every Philippine travel vlog and all the Asia travel I've been paying for. When I was in Japan in May earlier this year for one full month I paid for all of that myself the next question comes in from Yasin underscore 2018 2006 it is what's your favorite place to travel to I want to say Japan. If you were to ask me this question a year ago, I would have said Japan, but I've been having so much fun in the Philippines over the last two trips that now I want to say Philippines, and I'm really considering owning a condo in the Philippines and owning a condo in Toronto and just coming back and forth several times. Next question comes in from DJ Redstone. It is, if you could go anywhere possible, where would you go and why? I think I've already crossed off a lot of my bucket list, but I think the next major trip I'd love to go to, like 
like a country I'd like to discover would have to be South Korea. Korea, I absolutely love their culture and uh, I think it'd be just the perfect match with my content as well, considering sneakers and fashion is pretty important in Korea too. Adam Sams asks, are you looking forward to visit Germany? I am absolutely really looking forward to visiting Germany. It's probably one of the first places I wanna go to when I travel to Europe and so many of the Sneaker Talk fam is in Germany. Angel underscore V2 asks, does traveling take a lot out of you? Do you feel exhausted at times? Angel, yes. When you travel as much as I do or just travel a lot, it gets really tiring, really exhausting. Your sleeping schedule is really whack. It can mess with your hustle, your mojo, your workflow, especially if you go back to back different countries. So like recently I was in Manila and then I was in Canada for like two or three days and then I went to Japan and then I'll come back to Toronto then go back to Texas a day later. It gets very exhausting and you get burnt out and that's how I felt over the last couple of weeks. 360 Sneaks ask, is the trip worth it for the Philippines? 360 Sneaks, absolutely. The Philippines is one of the greatest countries ever. It's so freaking awesome over there. The weather's always good. The people are amazing. The food's good. The food's cheap. There's so much to do, so much to see. Ubers are cheap or lifts are cheap. What is it? Grab. Grabs are cheap. If you can go to the Philippines, I absolutely recommend that you do. Just Charlie 343 asks, what was your longest flight in your entire life? My longest flight in my entire life would have to be, I think, a 16 hour flight to Japan. Garrett Granger asks, where are you going to next? Where am I going next? I am honestly not entirely sure at the moment. Right now I have a one way ticket booked to the Philippines at the end of April and I plan to tour Asia and be in Asia for about two months during the summer. So you guys can expect some epic travel vlogs. But before April, at the end of April, that's a lot of time between now and then, you know? So I'm not too sure where I'm gonna go. I might go on a small vacation with my girlfriend. I might end up going to Texas probably once or twice before the trip and hang out with Tim. I might go to California, I might go to New York. I'm not entirely sure what is going to happen over the next couple of months, but it's going to be a fun journey. Seth FFF asks, were you able to bring the fake shoes you bought in Philippines to Canada? Yeah, I was uh, I was able to. A couple of pairs, so you guys can expect some, some reviews and some more content coming soon. I actually have a fake sneaker shopping vlog coming out tomorrow morning, so subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see some design or not designer some fake sneaker shopping but uh yeah i acquired quite a few fake sneakers in the philippines lots of content coming soon both on this channel and my second channel sneaker talk 365 subscribe to there chris Payne underscore underscore aka Payno, latest channel member thank you Payno, for uh, becoming a channel member i really really appreciate it i will be having my early sneaker sale and early streetwear sale very very soon and you'll have early access to it because you're a channel member chris Payne's question is if you could pick any country in Europe to visit, where would it be? Well, right now I'd have to say Germany is number one, um, but we did talk about Germany earlier. So I think my second would have to be France. I'd love to go to France, and I know that Natty would love to go to France too. So I think a fun little trip to Paris with my girl would be something you guys would like to see in a vlog. If you guys want to enter the giveaway for today, the common question is, what country are you from and where would you like to see me travel for vlogging. Very simple, where are you from? Where should I go? Hit that thumbs up button down below, subscribe with notifications on, and the giveaway prize for today's video is the Adidas Campus. So here's the Adidas Campus that we're gonna be giving away. It's in this like faded teal, turbo green colorway. You can say size nine, oh size nine. These are size nine? Why are they size nine? If you guys want this prize, all you gotta do is of course comment down below what country you guys are from, where should I go to, and I will announce the winner for this giveaway when this video hits 1,000 thumbs up. With that said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.